So actually I just wanted to go out and film a bit by myself today and this is what I came up with. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about B-roll and how you can improve your B-roll with five easy tips. Tip number one guys, you definitely need a tripod. Any sort of tripod, like a small gorilla pod, which can hold up to like around kilogram or up to three kilogram of weight. Or you go with a normal tripod, like a proper sturdy tripod. It definitely helps right now if you do a solo b-roll and you film yourself it definitely helps if you got the camera on a tripod and you can film yourself second tip you definitely need to think about your frame rate do you want to shoot 60 frames per second 120 frames per second or even 240 frames per second always think about how your footage will look after think about which part of a clip you want to slow down and which part of a clip you perhaps want to might play in a normal frame rate. So always think about what frame rate you need. Do you want to slow down your footage? Do you want to play at a normal speed? Always think about it. Tip number three guys, get as many angles as you can. Go low, go high, go left, go right always get as many shots as you can you never know what you're actually gonna use or what you actually want to use later in your footage so try to get as many angles as many detail shots as you can and then as mentioned before think about your frame rate if it's a walking shot you might want to slow down a walking shot or you want to play it in a, in a normal frame rate always think about details angles and get as many shots as you can it is better to have too many footage than not enough tip number four guys definitely think about your focus do you want to use a manual focus or autofocus there is no right or wrong between manual and autofocus sometimes manual focus is great you don't need to worry that your focus will shift or changes within a process so you set your focus you know you're gonna be in focus right now if you let's say stay further away you're gonna be in focus you can move around freely without worrying that your camera won't hit the focus or your part what you want to be in focus isn't in focus autofocus is great right now if you let's say you do a close-up and you hold your gorilla pot in front of you and you film yourself autofocus is great so there's no right or wrong guys it's either manual focus or autofocus you need to figure this out for yourself I switch it up sometimes sometimes I use manual sometimes I use autofocus so guys <clears throat> sorry for that it is literally experience you need to find out what is right or wrong for yourself when do you use manual focus and when do you use autofocus Tip number five guys, and this has more to do with the editing process of a whole footage. Add some fake motion within the editing software. Because you do solo b-roll or you shoot by yourself, a lot of shots will be static because it got shot on a tripod. And to give the footage a bit more motion, you can add some fake motion within the editing software. Zoom out, zoom in, or even like you could zoom from left to right always think about what additional feature you could use to add a bit more life into your footage and then you will see a big difference from your original footage to the edited footage it gives you just a bit more feeling within a within a film so we've got tip number six basically tip number six is just a little additional advice guys 
because of, let's say you would shoot 120 frames per second, you don't need necessary IBIS or a stabilizer, a gimbal. You got so many frames within a second that your footage will be pretty stable already. But if you think it's still too shaky, you could add a warp stabilizer within post and it will look like you shot your whole clip on a gimbal. So always think about, if you think you might need a bit more stabilization within your footage, add a bit of warp stabilizer, it will balance your footage out and you don't need to worry about IBIS or any stabilizer or a gimbal. However, also keep in mind guys that this counts when you shoot the frame rate from 120 frames per second upwards. So as you're seeing guys, you don't need always a great location to shoot some B-roll or some great footage. The footage you've seen at the beginning today from a video, I shot literally around the house, there's a little side street and I thought like, you know what, I'm gonna challenge myself a bit and gonna shoot my B-roll scene just around the corner, don't go far, see what I can come up with and it looks pretty good if you ask me. Let me know in the comments what you think and go try it out, just go around the house, next side street, try what you can capture, let me know, drop me a message, I'm gonna have a look and yeah guys, that's it for today. If you liked this video, like, comment and subscribe and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thanks guys.